Hi y'all, it's like Mama D here. So, today we have a Christmas video. Um, these are um, Christmas decor that my grandmother made for all the grandchildren as we were growing up. I don't need mine anymore because I'm not doing any more trees. Um, I just have no desire to. Uh, I have my Christmas tree. No, I have my Christmas tree skirt that I'm going to show first. I uh, used it a few times, but, um, yeah, I mean, it's still very, very nice. Nothing is ripped on it or tore up, considering we've had kitties my whole life even during my children's lives. Um, somebody did make this. Um, if I remember correctly, this was not store-bought. It's got Christmas tree needles on it still. <laughs> I will try to remember to get those off. Uh, and I guess I lied because this was purchased. Because it was made in China. But I was thinking, maybe it was at the time I was looking at one as well, you know, for to buy that was handmade. I don't know. It's been a long time because I've had this for, it's at least 10 years old. Let's just say that. Because it's been a good 10 years since, let's see, three, almost 10 years since I put up a Christmas tree. Probably nine, so. Uh, these have all been in storage since. But, you know, you can see it's a, a decent size tree skirt. I had it a six foot tree, so, and this fit perfectly underneath it. I'm trying to figure out where to put it after I show you. <laughs> okay, um, this was made from my grandmother. The black string and it says Noel. Nothing wrong with it. Here's the back side. No, no stainage. Nope. And it's something. Oh, and I'm showing it to you upside down. That would help if I actually showed it upright, huh? <laughs> and it hangs on the wall. And it's made from the um, the plastic little squared, you know, and you cut everything out and and so forth. My grandmother was very, very artsy, craftsy. So was my mom. Um, here we have, this was a kit. Um, but this also goes on your door. It says, hello. Oh, let me show the back. It's fine, too. Those are Santa's boots. So it's not a mess up there. Um, this, I don't know. I actually think I got this at a, a yard sale. But somebody did make it. And I've had this for years as well. Um, this that I'm going to show you, I'm, I just took a picture and it's just going to be in one little bundle. Uh, so I'm going to show you it real quick. Here's an owl. It's kind of creepy looking owl, but still an owl. Owls are kind of creepy. Uh, this was made by my grandmother. Uh, looks like this right here is missing. And this right here as well. Like I said, you know, animals and whatnot and these are probably say on 53 they're probably 43 plus years so there's that uh this was the little angel that we had on the, on the top and she does work i just don't have any more 
Christmas lights to show you that she does work. It's warm. Uh, here's another little that she made. My grandma, like I said, my grandmother was very crafty. She started at the beginning of the year, but you know, bought kits as they went on sale and whatnot, usually after Christmas or just before Christmas. And then she would sell these all and then give them to us for Christmas. It kept her busy and something from the heart. I miss my Grammy. <laughs> There's something else that she made. There's a little angel. Some of these are store-bought. You know. Not everything is, you know. But they are old. Or... It, like I said, at least nine years. I haven't purchased anything in nine years. A little snowman. Little legs. And they might be Walmart bought. Dollar. Uh, dollar store. Let's see, what else was around when I was... Uh, family dollar. Lowe's. I think that's about it that was in that little town when I was purchasing. Here's another little owl. Here is an angel that my grandmother crocheted. It does have a little bit of a staining here. I will, I'm going to soak it and see if I can't get it out. I don't know what it is. But it is a little angel that she has crocheted. I do have another little lot bundle of snowflakes that uh, she made as well, like this, and she starched them. But this is going to be with what I'm showing you. It's not with the, the other snowflakes. Because I went through, took a whole bunch of pictures, and then found some more. So I'm not retaking pictures. That's just going to be in a separate bundle. There's another one. There's also another bundle of, of those. These right here type are bundles. And then I have another bundle that has these kind in them. But I'll show those. If we don't have enough time in this one, it'll be in another video. Here's a Made in China, Santa Claus. <laughs> Another one that my grandmother made. There's two more. One's red, one's white, and it's in another little bundle. Like I said, went through and... Another angel. This one's store-bought. Turn it over. This one's Feliz Navidad. And maracas and actually jingling-a-ling there's some green sparklies that one you can't have because it's got my son's name on it didn't realize it this one there's some more there's another like a little lot bundle type thing my mom made these when she was in high school so these things are older than i am you can't tell by the color of the felt. <laughs> Not old enough. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, some other store-bought icicles. Purple and gold and gold. Three and three. Let's see if I can hold them up better so you can see them a little bit. I think these are a dollar store or Walmart. There's a little wooden one that my grandma made. She painted. There's a store-bought penguin. There's a store-bought musical note. I was really into music growing up. And that is it. For that right there. Right there, right there. 
So you got about five more minutes so that we don't overwhelm you with long videos. Um, this is a, another lot that I've already taken pictures of. Noel and a penguin. And this one says Gabby's first Christmas. Oh, baby's first Christmas. Oh, maybe I'm going to have to take this one out of the lot and give this to my neighbor. Because you know what? She just had a baby two days ago. And he's so cute. I mean, really, really cute. He's almost eight pounds, but oh my gosh, I haven't held a little one in, since my granddaughter's. That's sad. I miss my baby girls. So. Yeah, I think I'm going to take this out of the picture, retake these, and give that to my neighbor. Sorry, I've been running my mouth for over 10 minutes, so I'm thirsty. Um, I think we have time to do the snowflakes real quick. See all the snowflakes? And every one of them's different. And they do get a little bent out of shape. But, uh, you know, you just wet them a bit. And then put something heavy on top of them. But make sure whatever you put on top of them won't stick. Because they are starched. Some are more starchy than others. I see lots of people are doing these now, but my grandmother was the original. <laughs> her and all her peeps back in the day. We made everything. Because we didn't have money to buy. I hope everybody had a wonderful Halloween. It's actually Halloween tonight as I'm recording this. We've had one visitors, one set of visitors, and that was the neighbor, the one that just had the baby, her two kids that are at home, and um, I'm thinking a cousin. They were so cool. One little boy was a baseball player with a baseball coming out of his head. All bloody, it was all bloody. It was cool. And then, of course, it, the girls were with uh, the red balloons. One had the rain slicker. Yep, that's it. Just enough time to uh, show you those. Excuse me. I do apologize. Pepsi does make me burp. It's quite embarrassing to do on video. <clears throat> so there's that. And um, I hope everybody's having a time of their life tonight. Giving lots of candy out. Unfor like I said, unfortunately, we are not. But, you know, people don't like to do that anymore because there's so many weirdos out there, and I don't blame them. But uh, you'll stay happy and healthy, and have a blessed day, and we'll see you next time.